Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's take a look at the new Messages app features in macOS Ventura. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. So once you upgrade to Ventura you'll find there are a lot of new features in the Messages app. One of them is the ability to undo send. This works only if you're sending to somebody else who's also using iMessage. It won't work if you're sending to somebody else over their mobile phone system, SMS. So if you send something like this and you decide you want to unsend it, you can simply control click on it and then choose undo send and it will take it back. Note that if the other person isn't yet updated to either macOS Ventura or iOS 16 or iPadOS 16 then it won't work. They'll still see the message that you thought you undid. Now another option you have is to edit a message you've sent. This also only works for iMessage. So if you send something like this and then you just want to edit it you can Control click on it and then choose Edit. And then you can change something in the message like that. And then you can send as normal. Now you're going to see here Edit it. If you click that then you'll see the original message and then the change. If the other person is using an older operating system with iMessage they'll see both messages there. So to get the correct message it will just look a little messier for them than it will for you. Now another new function is that you can recover recently deleted messages. So you can go here to View and then you can see Recently Deleted. And then it's going to show you conversations with the recently deleted messages, anything in the last 30 days. You can select it and then you can see that there are three messages here and you can recover them. Now Messages already had a Shared With You feature. So when somebody shares something with you, like for instance I can click here and if I scroll down I could see things like links and photos that were shared with me. If you actually look under Messages Settings you can go to Shared With You and you could see which apps this is enabled for. This was here before but what's changed now in Ventura is more apps have been added. Now you may only notice one new app added, Books. So when somebody shares something from Books like recommends a book to you in the Messages app then you should be able to see that in the Books app. But what's more important is that now third party apps can be added here. So developers now have hooks that they can add to their apps and you might see third party apps listed here in the near future. Now I've never had much luck with this feature. Right now I've got a bunch of links shared and I have Shared With You turned on in Safari. But if I go to Safari and go to View Show Shared With You nothing appears. So how well this works for you may vary. Now collaboration just became a lot easier in Messages. If you have a file in iCloud and you can see that this folder here in the Finder is on iCloud Drive you can of course select a file. You can decide to share it right from here. But a new way to do that is simply to drag and drop that file into the Messages app. And you can see here that it could share in one of two ways. Collaboration is the default. You can also send a copy if that's what you intended to do. But if you keep it on Collaboration and the other person of course is using iCloud as well then you can now collaborate with this app just by doing this, just dragging and dropping it into Messages is all you needed to do. You didn't even have to open up the app, in this case Pages, to get collaboration started. They'll then get this message in their Messages app and this will work on the iPhone and iPad as well. Be able to click or tap it and then go into the app and start editing it with you. Now another improvement to Messages is you can use it to share play. So if somebody is using the Music app or the TV app and you want to say watch a TV show along with them synchronized. Before you could do that in FaceTime. Now you could do it with just Messages. But on the Mac you can only receive these. So you can't actually start a Messages share play this way on the Mac. You can do it on the iPhone and iPad. So if somebody were to do that and you were to get that on the Mac it would look like this. You would get it right here. You could click Join. So then when the other person actually taps to Start Share Play. You would see this icon up here like this. Click on it. Join. And the TV app starts and then you're watching the show. Of course I'm screen recording so it's blanking it out. Another new feature is now you can mark a conversation as unread. So you can see this conversation here is marked as read. So when going back into Messages later today I may not notice 
that I haven't responded here. I can control click here and mark as unread or if just with it selected I can go to conversation mark unread. Shift command U is the shortcut and you can see now that conversation has the unread dot next to it. And you can see here in messages I've got the little one showing me I have one conversation I need to attend to. Now all those features you may have heard before because Apple has been featuring them but here are a few that are not talked about at all really by anybody. One is under view there's some new filtering options. So all messages is a standard filter but you can also do known senders and that will just show you conversations with the people that are in your contacts. So a good way to get rid of stuff like two factor codes and little text messages from companies and things like that and just focus on your friends. You can always click here to go up a level or just change back to all messages. There's also unknown senders the opposite of that. So if you want to do some cleanup you might want to go there. Unread messages will just show you conversations that have unread messages in them and recently deleted I showed you before. There's also a new menu configuration under Edit. Instead of Find being grouped here with spelling and grammar substitutions and speech it's on its own which makes sense because Find in Messages isn't actually about text editing like this group is. Find is about entire messages or conversations. I'm actually surprised they didn't change this to Search instead of Find because in fact they call it Search right here. Another change that hasn't been talked about is the fact that you can select multiple conversations now. So for instance I can select this conversation like that but I can also Command click to select these two. Just like you could say in the Finder to select Files or in the Mail app to select Messages. You could also have one selected and then Shift click to select the whole range. Now the advantage to doing this is now you can delete them. So you can delete more than one conversation at a time. So Control and click and you get Delete or you can just go to Conversation, Delete Conversations and you can actually delete all of those conversations at once. There are also some other minor changes. For instance under Edit there used to be Clear Transcript so you can clear out a conversation. That's missing now probably to force you to delete them instead so they would appear under Recently Deleted instead of being deleted forever. You can still click on one message here and then Shift click on another to select a range and then you can hit the Delete key to delete those. There was also a menu item in View for Use Alerts for this conversation. That's no longer there but you still have the option if you go to the information about the conversation and you can see in the checkboxes Hide Alerts. Another change is one you're going to see throughout macOS is that in the Messages menu it's now called Settings rather than Preferences to fit the change from System Preferences to System Settings. But in the settings themselves there are no changes. And here's one last change but I don't have much to say about this because it's kind of mysterious as to what this change is supposed to be. If you go to the File menu now you have four items at the top. Duplicate, Move, Rename, and Export As. These seem to be standard file menu things that you would use in an app where you save documents. But they're always inactive here in Messages. It doesn't matter what you select. You can select an image attachment, a PDF, a message, a conversation. No matter what you select these will never work. So it may be that this is just a mistake or maybe we get some exciting new exporting features in the future. If you found a situation in which they actually do something let me know. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.